Irish Nation, we're here with Mix Mixtape, Volume 2. I'm here in the cold tub with Kurt Heinisch. If I were a mother who was raising a child who I wanted to be a star safety and captain in Notre Dame, what is one thing in your childhood that brought you to where you are today? I would have to say my mother. Okay. All right. Could you specify something your mother did that made you the person you are today? Always there for me, care for me, you know, and uh, put me in the right situations and right spots to be successful. You're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right? Yes. What's the competitive edge of Pittsburgh as far as churning out gritty human beings in general? Probably just the, the blue collar atmosphere. Tariq, can you tell the people where you're from? Uh, Milpitas, California. Can you repeat that slowly because I've never heard of it? Milpitas, California. What is the nearest major city that people have heard of? San Jose. Okay, San Jose. So you're from San Jose. You worked in a steel mill growing up, correct? No, but just, you know, I didn't work in a steel mill. Okay, so confirmed, Kurt Heinisch, steel mill. What age did you first enter a steel mill? Uh, I was probably around eight. Around eight. Eight years old, ladies and gentlemen. If you want your child to play defensive line for the University of Notre Dame, put them in a steel mill at eight. How are the working conditions down there? It's hot. Yeah, so a lot of people have been asking, uh, you know, what makes Alohi Alohi? Could you point to a few things in your upbringing that really made you the person you are today? Playing outside was a big thing. Uh, Did you have any video games? No video games as a kid. I had a nine inch TV as well. If you want your child to be the next Louie Gilman, consider shrinking their television size significantly. What are your thoughts on queso? I understand it's not an authentic dish, but it is in fact my favorite. It's all right. Guacamole? I don't like it. Pico de gallo? It's good. Okay. From a dietary standpoint, what do you think was your staple um, food or beverage that really, you know, helped create this freak of an athlete that we see in front of us today? Uh, well, the beverage is, is Minute Maid Fruit Punch. From a dietary standpoint, what made Aloe, Aloe Gilman Aloe Gilman? What was your staples growing up? Rice was the number one. Rice. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, wow. snack. Dessert? Dessert, anything you can think of. Cocoa rice, all of it. Okay, can you, what, what is that, what do you mean by cocoa rice? So, you know, like, uh, hot chocolate? Familiar. Right, so you can put hot chocolate, cocoa rice, it's a Hawaiian staple. They have rice and hot chocolate, mix it up. It's good for you, makes your muscles big. I could certainly use some cocoa rice now that you talk about it. It also sounds delicious. That's Mixed Mixtape from the Cold Tub, Camp Edition, Volume 2, 3, appreciate you.